Hi guys, this is Holly, and today is already October 1st, 2011. You know, I've been here in Panama City, Panama for one week now already, and I figured I've got my iPhone with me and I'd pull it out and, and do a little video update. I haven't done one in a long time. You know, almost three years ago now, I had my first procedure in Costa Rica at Cell Medicine. Um, three years ago, October 27th, I went down for stem cell treatment, my first stem cell treatment. And I pulled out a camera because I was nervous because, you know, there was anxiety and I said, well, what a better way to just talk to a camera. And it was like talking to a diary and kind of shared my story and I posted that. From that day forward, I vow to always tell the truth and tell you guys what's been going on. Since then, I've somewhat become a stem cell advocate. Um, I share good and bad stories about what's really happening in the stem cell world and where we're going. I'm very excited to tell you that we're moving forward. Now my MS wants to keep coming back. You know, I knew three years ago it wasn't a cure, but I knew I had to do something else. I had taken all the medications available in the United States, I exhausted everything that I could resource-wise, and I knew I had to do something else, and that led me to nine months of intensive research and saying, okay, let's make a different decision. And something you know, that wasn't necessarily traditional as in drug therapies that were already available that I already tried. So uh, that led to my first treatment. And, um, you know, the scientists and the doctors and everybody involved here where I, where, you know, I'm having my stem cell treatment, they're so aggressive and they're on the forefront of this new emerging medicine. And um, I believe in it wholeheartedly. And, you know, the first time around, I didn't get, I didn't expect to get the benefit that I did. But you know, three months after treatment, I could feel my feet again. I could ride my bicycle 13 miles around my community. I could drive a car again, very exciting. I could speak again intelligently. I had the time to work, do little video updates, not nearly enough, but do the video updates, do a website, and then write my story and keep telling you guys what's been going on. Well, about three months ago, my symptoms wanted to creep back. Nothing to where I was three years ago. I'm still driving a car, I'm still working. I flew down here on my own, my longtime boyfriend. He is still working in, in uh, Detroit, Michigan right now, so he couldn't come with me. But you know, we keep in contact via Skype every day. Um, and it's not as scary as it was the first time. I've learned so much about stem cells and I, you know, I'm kind of in the mix now to the point of where I have a new understanding better than I did the first time. You know, to the effect that I even had the opportunity to meet Governor Rick Perry from, from Texas where at a lunch we sit down and we're chit-chatting about how he's having stem cell treatment just two days after our meeting. And I'm like, when do we have those discussions? And when do we see on the forefront that stem cell technology is at the level that it's going to benefit the American people? I'm very, very excited about that. And worldwide, because again, every country that moves forward just benefits all of us. Um, I've seen so many things happen, you know, I've been able to see spinal cord injury patients walk again. I've been able to see autistic children talk again, um, be in public school again. Um, this year I saw a little girl by the name of Holly as well, cerebral palsy patient, and she is just scooting herself around and she is progressing amazingly well. Um, you know, it's science that I wholeheartedly believe in and I'm excited about and you know, I'm just so fortunate that it's available. Yes, I do have to leave the United States right now. Uh, yes, I had to come back down here, but um, it's okay because I know that it's safe. I know that the risks are very, very minimal. I know that it has the potential to help. I don't know. They don't have all the answers yet. You know, it doesn't work amazingly well from everyone. For me, it did. And so, you know, I'm going to always look forward in my future to stem cells before anything else. I'm not on any traditional drug therapies any longer. I do take supplements and keep myself healthy. Um, I exercise often and I just try to live a healthy lifestyle. But when it turns to medicine and my legs get numb again and you know I start not to do so well and balance a little bit off MS has all these other you know symptoms and I can feel it happening you know I'm on the phone with the doctors again saying well what do we do next and uh, it's exciting to see the the protocols have changed for the better you know they're mimicking things that I'm reading all the time and that, that's going on at, like at the Cleveland Clinic in, in the United States and Wisconsin and all these other you know, research institutions. So we're moving forward. I'm back down here. I wanted to give you guys an update. I had the great opportunity to meet some patients today and go on a tour and go travel around a little bit. And I like that connection. You know, I've made so many worldwide friends through this treatment and um, it's something I could have never, never had the opportunity to do. And we all have a common, common bond and that's stem cell treatment. 
whether we all have the same outcome, we won't, but we have that bond that we can share. So I wish you all the best and I, I will keep doing my updates as best as I can and post them as fast as I can. And again, keep researching, keep educating yourself and just know that I believe that there is new medicine out there that we